And take back again. There we go. Now the difference. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but also what's happening you can't see here look at how the feet the, the, they kick it right in so her system's kicking up with the rest so now going around like this there we wow. go Whee. Okay. and now I can put here with all sorts of force but since the force is going somewhere and that what you see is finally the rocking that rocking I'm not shaking her head it's a cause and effect. There's no difference between here. Let me get my, my fun little tool. Now I can really use it. So if I take a ball out, boom, that energy has to go somewhere. Now the difference between this object and her head is that this is a fixed object. Every string was put on here by a robot. All of these strings are perfectly aligned left for right. This is a difference between what you're thinking of. You know what I mean? If we have an inanimate object, there is should be no difference from the left and the right. Because it was put together by a robot. It is mathematically correct. She is not mathematically correct. So if I take a picture of her, split it down midline, and put the two right halves together, like if I mirror it, she won't even look like this. Have you ever seen that before? So if you take a picture of someone, you split it, and so then I take this picture, just this side and, and transpose it over here and put them together, you wouldn't even know that that was Ariana. There's no reference. So I, do, I wouldn't do this starting out on someone because I, on her, I need this energy to go somewhere. So just like this, so now I can do almost the same pace and she's going to come back to me. Mm -hmm. So I can do it actually with quite a lot of effort but she's not going to be in pain or anything or tender or anything like that because the, the energy is going somewhere. But if you don't have that, then if, the more I push, it's like going into a brick wall. And it's going to A, hurt her or she's going to somehow have a response back saying, Michelle, don't, don't touch me like that. Even if she says she's fine because she's going to let me do whatever I want to her, I still can't go over that boundary of her central nervous system because she's an intelligent being, especially babies are, and this is where we go over that with babies more so because we do it with ourselves. Oh, my ankle hurts. I still have to pick up the kids from school, so so what? Mm -hmm. You know, or I'm getting a divorce. I want to cry all day. Well, so what? You still got to gotta live your life. You got to go to work. Otherwise, who's going to pay the bills? It's the people that fail with that lose everything. But they, they so no, even if she says, you know, you can do what you want with me because I trust you. I can't, I can't go over that trust with her internal central nervous system. So if she wasn't ready, I can't go in and go, oh, let's see how you move today, Ariana. But now I can do this now because she's, boop, boop, boop. I mean, she's totally like putty in my hands. But I had to work at that. I had to earn that respect with my touch and to know what she was ready for. And now with even one finger, how much her head's available, but with two hands. You know, now she's just...